Hi, I'm Linda Hutchinson. Today I'm going to show you how you can get the typewriter effect in scrapbooking. Those of us who remember typewriters, um, we might want to give a layout, a bit of nostalgia with that kind of font. You can find fonts on the internet that you can use through your printer to print out a title for a scrapbook page or you can use stamps. I have these stamps that have kind of a typewriter font and you can just put them on this magnetic handle in any kind of word configuration that you would like. Um, one little hint that kind of gives that authentic typewriter effect is if you put some of the letters up a little bit because if you're like me you remember how typewriters the letters were not always in perfect alignment sometimes you had that one that stuck and if you put one of them up a little bit it'll kind of give that effect so I'm just going to take a little bit of ink and make an impression on this cardstock that I cut out using a typewriter effect. Just want to make sure I ink that well and then I'm just going to press. Now remember if you make a stamp like this, something where you, you put the letters on yourself, you want to put the word backward so when you stamp it, it will come in the right order. And I'm just going to apply even pressure. <laughs> One of the stamps came off, but that's okay. It gave the image before it did. And so there you will see it has kind of that old-fashioned typewriter look. And I put that one letter up, like that key that always ended up sticking, and it gives it that little authentic touch. And that's how you can use um, a typewriter effect in scrapbooking. Thank you so much for joining me. My name is Linda Hutchinson. Bye-bye.